How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Fucking Hellas time in the form of Pariah Brewing, my cat from Hellas. Um, yeah, Pariah. I've done like, uh, actually, three of their beers before because they sent me three beers before. Um, it was uh, LeBron Haze, and then there was uh, a Smilex, and then there was a Fruited Sour one. I actually did a, I did a, a train review on that one. I reviewed it live on a train. Um, and they just kind of up and out of nowhere dropped a little box on me. Dropped off two beers as one of them. And I'm really in a mood for a chugger. It is 80 degrees outside. It's hot. That's what this beer exists for. Let's dive into it. What does it say in a can? And it says, a Munich-style Hellas Lager, born in a circle of barbed wire, seemingly no fear and burning with confidence. This was one of our first impressions of a tiny black cat who looked like he had his tail in a light socket. A perpetual troublemaker who will quickly steal and uh, the straw out of your cup, then knock it over just before he begs for treats. We made this beer with IWCBD in honor of Salem the Cat. I don't know what that is. IWCBD, um, a simplistic yet deep, um, deep, deceptively, it's hyphenated. Fucking turn off the hyphen when you're doing Illustrator and you're laying out the can. Just click no hyphens. I mean, it's easy. A uh, deceptively flavor, uh, flavorful headless lager with nothing but German malts and Czech hops. Okay, going traditional doughy pilsner malt. A couple of these clean lager yeast with an oh, ever so slight noble hop character just pecking through. Uh, he's gonna need this where where he's surely going, which would be hell. Um, yeah, so we were talking about sauce hops, pilsner, Munich, dextrin, and. Melodonin. Melodonin. Words. Uh, 5% alcohol by volume. And the bottom here is I do what I want. And this would be hyper fresh. Um, it is two weeks old. And yeah, we're going to drink this shit. Yeah, just turn off the hyphens. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Um, yeah. So we'll see what we got here. I dig this. You know, first beer meal I got from Pariah. Like I said, was uh, you know two hazies and uh, followed by a, a kind of fruited lactosey beer. I think it had lactose in it. I could be wrong. Go watch it. Anyway, um, and um, to get something like this, something you know it's cleaner, crisper, kind of more traditional, kind of really fucking turns me on. To be perfectly honest with you, pinky finger, white as white could be head, soft, gentle, gentle, super gentle carbonation, and it, it, you could kill ants with that thing. It's so goddamn clear. So that's clear beer. And I get the whole cat from hell. I got a cat from hell. Her name's Peanut Butter. She's probably in this room right now. She doesn't do the on-camera thing anymore. If you go back to my older reviews, like my first year or two, you see I'd be doing a review and she'd just walk by right in front of the fucking camera while I was doing a review or lay down and like, and it was crazy. And I kind of dug it. She's getting older now. She's not as frisky, but she's a fucking, she's a horrible cat. She's like a, a, such a fucking douchebag. It's not even funny. I love her. She's awesome. <laughs> Let me get a nose on a sucker. No, because you get that rich Pilsner malt. It's not overly sweet. It's really nice. A soft, soft, soft lager. Yeasty vibe to it. Very, very gentle. But you get a nice pop of hops in there. I mean, very simple, very basic, very tannic, very, like, chick, sazzy, bittering to a tea. It smells nice, man. It smells nice. Yeah, it smells like I just want to drink it. I, I wish I knew how to chug. I'm just not a chugger. I wish I could just bang this. Uh, this would be the perfect review just to slam it in one shot. I just can't fuck with that shit. So I'm drink it like a normal person. Cheers. That's a good beer. That's a good beer. That malt comes through. They talk, call, call, talk about a doughy Pilsner malt. I don't get that at all in there. I get a bit of crackeriness. I get a bit of dried out like if they're gonna go doughy it's more of a fresh cracked maltiness it's not super heavy and not super doughy or anything like that that's fine uh, i actually like it this way better um so you get that nice rich maltiness on there that's uh, rich for its style if you will it's you can tell it's a lager but it's not over the top there's a soft lagering yeast vibe. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't get super sulfury or too, like I say, funky when it comes to lagers. It doesn't get that realm lager funky. It's just soft. And then those hops are really the star of the show. They talk about them just eking through. I think they're a little bit bigger um, than they give them credit for. But again, it's where I want it to be. 
They're not like in your face two by four to the face hops. They're sharp, they're biting, they're bittering, they're tannic, they're herbal. They're all those old school terms when it comes to hops, but it works with this beer. There's a nice balance between everything that that's rich maltiness is right there where hell it should be a little bit more propped up from where Pilsner uh, sits. It's a little bit richer, a little bit nicer. And then you have that nice lager vibes that don't get over the top, don't get too lagery because that's a word and then followed by the hops leading the show but not too far off so there's a nice kind of balance between all those flavors and it works out pretty well this is a super well made super crushable super drinkable just awesome beer it's a really good beer it's it's so clean it's hyper clean like there's nothing negative about it and it's it, this is what i want on a 30 rack of when i throw my barbecues this is what I want a keg of when I have, you know, my outdoor jams. This is just tasty stuff. This is this is chugging beer. I mean, that's a beautiful fucking thing. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better uh, lagers in general that I've had? I was like, yes. Um, is it number one? Uh, for me to even think about that is is positive because I go uber traditional when it comes to my lagers. I like them to be kind of like the stalwarts, but I like when new school people can kind of bring the lager game and bring it fucking proper. And uh, like I said, it's a get from this video. I'm super surprised because when your first foray into a brewery is hazies and fruited beers to have something thrown, this thrown at you is fucking awesome. Um, so it's up there. It's up there with some of my favorite um, uh, lagers, and Hellas lagers that I've had from U.S. breweries. Uh, Daredevil comes to mind. Some local breweries come to mind. So, yeah, pretty damn good stuff. Uh, availability, value, all that stuff. I assume it's brewery only. Hopefully it sees a, sees a distro because that's what Hellas is for. It's for the people. And and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like chugging beer. If you don't like chugging beer, I don't know why you're into beer. But if you like chugging beer, this is going to be a great chugging beer. It's going to give you the impact of what you expect from this style in a very traditional sense with just maybe just a touch of volume on it over a more traditional kind of Hellas. But at the same time, um, just be a pleasure to drink. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little uh, lager right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.